Hi you guys, it's me. I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm filming my nighttime skincare um, video and the only reason I said I can't believe I'm doing this is because it's 12 a.m. and I'm crazy because I accumulated these products over like years and years and years and it took me such a long time to get my perfect like nighttime routine. So first thing you gotta do is you gotta get this headband thing and get it right around your head and you gotta do this. These are the simple cleansing wipes right here. These are makeup removal wipes, and I like to use these first before I do my cleanser, just to get like all the makeup off. Right now, my makeup has been on like all day, so it looks like complete crap. Don't judge me. I don't care. I'm just doing you guys a favor by filming this video. I mean, I hope it's a favor. I hope you learn from it. So you want to make sure you get all the product off your face, mostly with this wipe. I like these wipes because they don't burn and I don't think they have a lot of alcohol in them. Another really great wipe is the Alba Hawaiian wipe. It's so good. You want to make sure you get your neck too. Sometimes like we forget that we have necks or something. So once you have that all off, um, my favorite cleanser right now, it's like gentle but it's still abrasive enough to get the product off. This is a Mario Badescu um, glycolic cleanser and it's so good so you just need to like put a tad bit maybe like a dime worth on your hand and just rub it in your skin it kind of like burns a little bit but not like the back kind of burns like not the kind that makes you red but this is getting dry so i'm just gonna go wet my face and wash it off so i'll be back Okay, you guys, so I went and washed all that stuff off of my face and I dried it. Um, so for a toner, I actually make my own toner or astringent, whatever you want to call it. So I just put like, um, I just take a little water bottle that was originally water and up to here I filled it with apple cider vinegar and then like maybe up to here I filled it with um, rose water and then the rest of it was water just regular water and if you shake it up it like it gets foamy and actually a lot of dirt even after the cleansing was removed because of this stuff this is so good and it's not too harsh like I used apple cider vinegar on its own once and it was too harsh for me but when I did this little mix it works out great it actually does minimize pores so if you have large pores I really do recommend this little mix and it was super easy to make it like literally took me one minute after each thing I like to let it sit for at least a minute before I do the next thing I want my skin to absorb it this always stays in the fridge just because um cold water minimizes your pores even more and it just feels so good like I keep a few things in the fridge I keep this in the fridge and um this is not in the fridge right now because I just took it out but I also keep my Mario as you can see, I'm obsessed with Mario Disco, but I keep the rose water spray in the fridge and whenever I come home, I just open the fridge and splash it in my face and it feels so good. You can splash this one if you have makeup on or if you don't, which is super awesome. I've been using the same moisturizer on my skin day and night forever and it's just amazing. Like it, It's been working for me. Um, since I started using it, I felt like my skin was a lot softer a lot more calm and a lot more neutral, a lot of discoloration was gone. I'm just obsessed with this moisturizer, I don't know if I'll ever switch, but it is the Alba Hawaiian Aloe Green Tea Moisturizer, and it's from Target. Since it is mine, I don't mind putting my fingers, my fingers are clean. A lot of people like to use like a spatula or whatever, but I know I'm clean, so. And you'll see like a difference instantly. So for my eye cream, I recently found out about this product and I really like it. And it's called the Prescriptives Vibrant C Eye Cream. So now that my moisturizer is absorbed, my last thing that I do, and this is so great, when I discovered this product, I felt like a million bucks. And this is the brand and how it looks. It comes with like a little dropper. When I asked the lady how to use this, she said that you put like a couple drops on your face, like maximum five. 
And the last thing I do, and I've been doing this because I felt like my eyebrows on this one, like from the bottom, are fa falling out a little bit. So I got a bottle of organic um, castor oil. And I've been doing it for the past week and I already see a huge difference. And you can like rub the rest of the castor oil into your lashes. So yeah, this, this is it for me. I mean, if I want to be a little bit extra that night, you can like spray a little bit of this, but I already put my serum on. I don't like to put anything over it. I could probably do this around my neck. Um, I hope this video was informative to you guys. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe and like and comment. Please ask me anything you want. Like this is just what works for my skin, but because I'm in the beauty industry and I like see clients all the time and I have my cosmetology license, I can help out with any skincare type. So just comment your question on what you'd like to know and I'll try my best to uh, reply uh, this morning if not this morning some morning i will definitely film a daytime video and show you my daytime routine it's similar to my nighttime routine but i do use different stuff and i'll save that for the daytime video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time see you bye bye